and welcome to the School of Psychology at the University of East London. My name is Heba Haddad and I am the programme leader for the new BSc Honours in Environmental Psychology. I have studied and researched environmental psychology for over 15 years. I have a degree in psychology, a master's in environmental psychology and a PhD in the psychology of climate change communication. I've worked at the University of the West of England, Imperial College London and King's College London as a researcher exploring environmental psychology. I've been at the University of East London since 2019 and I am thrilled and excited to bring to you the Environmental Psychology undergraduate degree. Environmental psychology is about the interrelationships between humans and their environment. During this programme, you will learn about the principles and key conceptual issues of how this works. What does this mean? It's about understanding the human mind and behaviour in different environmental contexts. What do we do? Why do we do it? And how can we change things to change behaviour? Environmental psychology has two perspectives within this field. The first is how our environment influences on our behaviour such as our built environments, natural environments. This can be green spaces, parks, and it can be houses, buildings, offices. For example, we could think of a room and how the colour of a room can actually change and influence our behaviour. Colour in a room can give it character, but it can also influence on our behaviour. It can change our mood and even affect our performance on tasks. Also think of that room and there are other environmental influences in that room, such as temperature, noise, smell, how crowded it is. All of these environmental influences will have an effect on how we receive and respond to environmental cues, which ultimately can shape our behaviour. The second branch of environmental psychology looks at how our behaviour impacts on the environment. We are faced with many environmental challenges today such as climate change, air pollution. We have finite resources on this planet. Technological fixes will not resolve these problems. We need behaviour change. And there are lots that psychologists can do to create long-term sustainable behaviour change. How can we encourage people to consume less and conserve more? To drive less and cycle more? What are people's understandings of climate change? How can we communicate climate change more effectively? And how can we communicate this in such a way to create long-term sustainable behaviour change? There are a lot of things that environmental psychologists can untangle, understand and put into practice. During your environmental psychology degree at UEL, you will learn about this and much more. We offer this programme in collaboration with UEL's Sustainability Research Institute. They're a centre of excellence in research and development. This provides a unique collaborative teaching and learning experience and you will also have the opportunity to have placement experience supported by SRI in the community with local organisations. Careers and graduate opportunities for students who complete this degree programme include working in central and local government on environment and behaviour policies, working for environmental organisations who want to communicate climate change more effectively, and working in the private sector for designing and researching behavioural interventions. This is a British Psychological Society accredited course. This means it meets the high standards for teaching and training that is expected to have such an accreditation. Employers value such an accreditation. It's seen as a hallmark of quality. This means once you graduate, you are also eligible for the graduate basis for chartered membership of the British Psychological Society. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or would like to get in touch about this course, my email address will magically appear on the screen now. I look forward to seeing you in the future at the University of East London.